Um, let's. Oh, not options. Let's save. I, I got really confused there. I'm sorry. I was. Okay. What's up, buddy? Oh, you are. Okay. Welcome. I don't get challenged very often. The glory you are now beholding is the Pistoria Gym Leader. That's right. I'm Crasher Wake. My Pokemon were toughened up by stormy white waters. They'll take everything you can throw at them and then pull you under. Victory will be ours. Come on. Let's get it done. Alright, Crasher. Oh, he's got that wrestling pose. Okay. Three Pokemon. And the first one. Oh, he is starting off with a Gyarados. Okay. Not gonna lie, I kind of thought that'd be the second Pokemon. Cool, 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 cool. That's fine. Uh, Intimidate, which doesn't really affect Kadabra. Level 27. Okay, I mean, we are... Uh, okay. Don't know if it's gonna one-shot it. Probably won't, but it's gonna do a ton of damage. And then he's got Crunch. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that's gonna... That's gonna eliminate us real quick. Huh. That's... That is going to be an issue. Okay. So my idea with Krogunk is that... Oh, he's got Ice Fang too. Oh my goodness. Okay, Venishock. He's got to do some decent damage, right? I am a liar. <laughs> uh, Sucker Punch? Hit him a little... Yeah, there we go. Boom. Alright, we got some damage in. Oh, he hit us with Brine! Oh, he healed us. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. See, this is why... This is why I brought Krogunk, because of Dry Skin. Uh, oh, he's got Flail now. Man. Yeah, the reason I brought the Krogunk was because of that. Uh, can we check, like... Speed? I want to check my speed of Pokemon. 52. Okay, so our fastest Pokemon is Apom. Alright, Apom. It's your time to shine, buddy. Hit him with the... <laughs> these attacks. Oh, he used the Super Potion. That's cheating, man. That's so cheating. <laughs> Hit him with a Scratch. I take that idiot. Oh, we would have taken him out, too. Man. Okay. Oh, he, he's actually faster than us. Huh. Okay, that's that's fair. We can, I think we can actually still pull this off, to be honest with you. I know it looks bleak, but... Ooh, yeah, I think we can actually pull this off. Just don't ask me how. <laughs> uh, okay, we'll go into Print Blip. Uh, we can't hit him with... Yeah, we can only really hit him with Peck. And he's got... Cr oh, okay. Hey, he moved out of the way. Let's get it. Hit him with a peck. That doesn't do any damage. This is not... This is not good. <laughs> I'll just crunch, dude. Crunch really doesn't do too much. Is this... Uh... Hmm. We do have one revive, so we can actually make this work. Okay. Printplup is gonna have to tank a few hits, but... Oh, nice, we avoided... Oh, because of our shout? Alright. That's such a weird mechanic. Still not sure if I like that. Okay, so we have... So our final Pokemon are Hootoot, Kadabra, and... Uh, Pridblip. And he's gonna use Flail. That's fair. But, like, technically speaking, we might actually be able to grind this out. So, another Flail. We're gonna use Peck, because he is faster than us. And now we're going to use another Moo Moo Milk on Printplum. We'll heal, there we go. Okay, it's thrilled, that's great man. Uh, we avoided the attack, which is good. Okay, 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 this is working out, this is working out. Um, another, okay, another flail, we got hit by it. Eh, it doesn't really do that much. Maybe this peck will take it out? It doesn't. Which means he's going to do a lot of damage with this flail. Okay, we just need to survive it. Perfect. Okay, I did 44 damage. So that peck takes it out. 
Um, yeah, like honestly, I think we can, we can, and like Cadaver got a level, and so did Hoot Hoot. So, uh, wants to learn the move Psy Shock. Uh, attack does physical damage. Teleport's still useful, I think. Is it? Yeah, we're gonna get rid of the teleport. I still like recover. I mean, we're gonna get rid of recover sooner than later, anyways, too. So, okay, hoot hoot, level thirty-three, which is cool. Wants to learn the move Moon Blast. Uh, yeah, you actually lowers. Okay, that might be helpful. Um, what? Okay, Moon Blast. Uh, you need to get rid of takedown, right? Yeah, why do you have takedown? <laughs> okay. Okay, we're scrubbing right now, but we can we we can we can do this. We can do this. Quagsire. Oh, we can a hundred percent do this. Oh, we can a hundred percent do this. We're gonna use another Moomoo Milk on Printlip, get him back to full health. Cause I don't think Quagsire can really hurt us. I'd be surprised if he could. Unless he's got a ground move? Mud shot. Uh Mud shot, kind of all. Yeah, this. Oh, it's speed. Okay, I was gonna say if it's accuracy, that sucks. But speed, it's kind of whatever. Yeah, we're still faster, anyways. Okay, well, so what's Bubble Beam gonna do for? Oh, Bubble Beam is a two shot, and we lowered their speed. So <laughs> take that, I guess. Okay, so again. I don't think speed's that big of a deal because their last Pokemon, I'm a hundred percent sure, is a Floatzel, and it was gonna be faster than us regardless, so it's not that big of a deal. Cool, Quagsire down. He's got one more Pokemon left, and yeah, what's up? Hey, that there, that was a good move. Thanks. <laughs> we got the Floatzel level 30. Oh, I thought we were gonna have. A way higher level. He does have bite though, so I have to watch out for that. Really, only level thirty. That's crazy. Um, let's use Brine because we're gonna be really low HP, and Brine does more damage. A ooh, look at that. Oh. Oh, now he's using Brine. Uh oh, I was, I was gonna say if he didn't if he didn't kill us on that that would have been awesome. Also, did he just shoot water out of his butt? Is that what I saw? I think that's what I saw. <laughs> okay. Kadabra. In theory we're faster. We are not. That take Oh he should Oh he toughed it out for us! Oh my god, okay, okay. Oh my god, we got flinched. <laughs> wow. Because I'm pretty sure that Psychic takes him out too. Wow, that's crazy. That is crazy. Okay. Yeah, he's just gonna bite us into- yeah. Wow. That is super unfortunate. Okay. We're not done yet. We still got Hoo Hoo. He's still vibing. We are going to start off with a Feather Dance. He's got Ice Fang. It killed us. <laughs> okay. Huh. That is... Damn. That sucks. That is not fun. Okay, well, the next time uh, you see us, we will be right in front of Crash Awake to take him on again. So, uh, yeah. Okay, we're back. So, uh, I now have added Pinsir and Absol. The others are cool. Printlip has a new move. Apalm has a new move. We're just going to rock with this and see how far it takes us. Um, the Floatzel I'm not worried about. It's actually... Funnily enough, it's actually the, um, the whatchamacallit that I'm afraid of, the, uh, the Floatzel. Floatzel's 
no, no, sorry, the Gyarados. Gyarados is the one I'm afraid of. Uh, the Quagsire is whatever. And the Float Soul. I mean, I've seen his moves at this point. I'm not really afraid of the Float Soul, so. It should be fine. Alright, Crasher. So, Gyarados again. Starting off, as always. And we will start off with Absol this time. Because. Oh, I forgot the, about the Intimidation. Ugh. Oh. Okay. Um. We're just gonna Night Slash. So, Super Fang is really nice in the sense that. Or super lock is really nice in the sense that we can crit <laughs> like that. So we can just ah uh, flail, eh? So we can just night slash like that and take him out pretty easily. Cool. Current look got a level up out of it, which is neat. Ah, uh, Quagsire. So Quagsire, not really very intimidating. Uh, he'll probably take us out, so we'll use Night Slash to get as much damage on him as possible. And then we'll just, yeah, get hit with Scald, which is fine. That is no worries. Let's go to Primplup. So yeah, as you can see, Primplup, I gave him Pluck. I also gave him Grass Knot. I did not know, I totally forgot that this, that print blip and stuff can learn Grass Knot, so one Grass Knot's gonna take out uh, Quagsire, and then I don't know how many it's gonna take for Floatzel, but this is, uh, <laughs> this is just what we're doing. This is what we're doing now. What you got for me? That was a good move. Thanks, man. I really wish Crasher was a higher level. I know I had issues with him, but like, I'd still wish he was a much higher level than he is. Bite isn't really going to do anything special. Grass Knot, I don't think it's going to take him out on one. Yeah, it's going to take two. Oh. Get a berry? Okay. A citrus berry. That's fine. Unless you can take me out this turn, I'm gonna take you out with Grass Knot, so... At least I hope I'm gonna take you out with Grass Knot. Yeah, sweet. Okay, that's another gym done. Wow. Uh, yeah, I didn't expect us to actually get to this gym immediately. I don't know why. Again, I haven't played these games in so long that sometimes you kind of forget some things. Uh... How will I say this? I want more. I want about a lot more. Well, maybe you should have had a full team, you know? Just throwing that out there. Seems the undertow pulled me under, but I had a great time battling with you. You've earned this. Fourth badge, baby. Sweet. You received the Fen badge from Wake. You need that Fen badge to use the hidden move Defog from your Poke Edge. These are a special reward for me in recognition of your team's power. Uh, so we got some stickers. That's always cool. And TM55s, which I hope is Scald. Is it Scald? No, it's Brian. Ugh. Brian isn't really helpful to us, to be honest. Not really sure. Uh, not really sure what we can use Brian. Like, I had Brian on Printplot, but now I don't. I'm pretty sure I took it off, so... Not really useful. Uh, the next gym is actually... Uh, let's go to the trainer card. So we can see how much... I've spent 15 hours in this game. Which is insane. Already. Uh, 74 in our Pokedex, which is cool. You can flip to the back. Which doesn't really show... Yeah, so fossil digging sessions, a lot of them. <laughs> Statue variants found, 30. So it's not too, too bad. Um, let's view the badges. Uh, oh no, our badges are, uh, they're, uh, we need to shine them up. We can't do that here though, so, okay, so we gotta go back to the other town. Um, I believe it's, uh, okay, we'll explore Pistoria City a little bit. Uh, at least I put a smile on your face. Oh, okay, so we got some stickers. Uh-huh, okay. 
cool. <laughs> so let's explore Pistoria City a little tiny bit. I'm not sure there's anything we can really do. Uh, this Pokemon's not bad, but it's not good either. It's just so so. If you want to improve this one's condition, feed it some more Poffins. What? Um, let's see. So there is an area down there. Actually, there's a Team Galactic member right here. The package finally came from the Veilstone Warehouse, and now it's my job to deliver this to the lake. This is an important mission. No failure allowed. No making boo-boos like wandering off into the Great Marsh. Oh. You were eavesdropping. I was just talking loudly to myself. If I was in a hurry, I'd pulverize you with my Pokemon. But I have to get on my way to the lake ASAP, so you're lucky I'm out. Oh, and listen up. <laughs> listen up, you. Don't you dare follow me. Okay, so we're going to follow him. Um, in a bit. Oh, okay. That was a little bit weird. Uh, here where I'm standing, I'm smack dab in the middle of town. Okay. That's cool for you. Everyone calls me the Pokemon Move Maniac. I prefer Move Tutor. I know every Pokemon. I know every move that Pokemon learn while they're leveling up, and I can teach Pokemon those moves. I can teach a move to a Pokemon of yours if you'd like. I'll do it. I'll do it if you'll trade me a heart scale. Oh, and that's it. That's an honest to goodness heart scale. Let me guess. You want me to teach one of your Pokemon to move? Which Pokemon needs tutoring? Can we do Houndoom? I'm actually curious. Which Pokemon? Sh we could. Look at this list of moves. I mean, Inferno is really garbage. Nasty Plot's cool. Thunderfang is neat. Ember. I mean, <laughs> get a fire move on him. Uh, yeah, we're going to give up on that. Okay, so the Move Maniac is here, which actually does, uh, does help us a bit. I'm not gonna lie to you. Uh, what's in here? Uh, you know about Burmy and how they come in different forms? Do you have all forms of that Burmy? Oh, you don't even have a single Burmy. You don't like them? They're kind of mushy and cute. Alright. And uh, how the environment can shape people's personalities. Yeah, that's, that's fair. Um... Let's go to the Pokemart, see what they got cooking, because we actually do need some stuff. Here to buy, friend. Uh, oh, okay, so we got we got Quick Balls now. We have Quick Balls now. Let's buy 20 of those. Cool. Uh, two Premier Balls on the house. Wow. Uh, oh, no, 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 no. I don't just want one. Um by 10. We are wasting a lot of money on Pokeballs. Uh, are Dust Balls valuable? I mean... Eh. We'll chill for now. Yeah, we've been wasting a lot on Pokeballs. Usually I'm swimming in money at this point, but we are not. Alright, what's up? I've been hiking all around the southern region. I love planting berries wherever I go. I'll give you a berry too. Please plant it somewhere. A Tanga Berry. Not 100% sure what that does, but... Oh, wait. Can we, wait, we didn't talk to the little girl. Don't know if she has anything for us. Uh, hello. My sister... Oh, okay. I thought she was gonna say something, like, neat and cool. Did not. Um, we're gonna heal and then... Swap our team around again. Because we need to, uh... We need to do that a little bit. Yeah, we need to do that a little bit. So, Krogunk, Pinsir, and Absol all go back in. We didn't end up needing the Krogunk and the Pinsir, but, I mean, it's always good to have. Absol did actually come in handy. Um, not sure if it's a Pokemon I want to use. I know a lot of people like Absol, and I can see why. It's a cool design. Uh, wow, look at me going to the PC like a, <laughs> like a boomer. Okay. Um... I mean, honestly, I just want to bring back the squad. You know, like Kuhut, grab the Onyx too, place the pincer. Like, right now, it's actually kind of funny. Right now, this is just the team. Because, like, we have one generation four Pokemon, and then two generation, or three, yeah, two generation twos, and then three generation ones. I mean, when Apom evolves, it'll be a gen four, but. He was looking uh, very interesting, to say the least. So let's go to the lake. Uh, hello. 
Wow, persistent pest. If our plan works, our boss's dreams come close to fruition. Our boss's ideal world is going to be created. So I'm not going to waste my time on a nobody like you. I'm telling you now, don't you come chasing after me. Oh, it's Barry. Whoops, <laughs> no, I'm not always going to plow into you every time we meet. So how's it going, Rico? Buffing up your Pokemon, eh? I'll test you and your Pokemon out to see how buff and tough you are. Okay. So let's see what Barry's been up to. Uh, he does have Grottle. Uh, he's still rocking Starly? Could that not be evolved at this point? To a Staravia? He's got a level 26 Starly. What? Why on earth does he have a level 26 star? Okay. I guess. That's cool. Uh, Apom level 28, sweet. Uh, Buizel. Okay, a level 26 Buizel as well, which should go down in one psychic. Yep. I'm still rattled about the, uh, the whatchamacallit, oh, Cadaver level 31. I'm still rattled about the, <laughs> the level 26 Starly. Grottle's level 31, so he's got one more Pokemon after this that he's saving. Can the Grottle survive a Psychic? Oh, barely. Oh, it's because we crit him, okay. Got that special defense drop too, okay, Stealth Rock, I mean, Barry, what are we doing here? Like, what? I don't, I don't, I don't get it. I on, okay, sure. So he's got one more Pokemon. Um, I couldn't really guess what it is, to be honest with you. What do you got, Barry? Yeah, I could tell you raise your Pokemon to be tough. A Ponyta. Okay, so he was saving the level 27 Ponyta's last... I don't think they can stand up to a psychic. Yeah. <laughs> That's not guys, guys, Kadabra is too too powerful. Like honestly just too powerful. What just what just happened? You're telling me I lost? Yeah. Got a decent amount of money though. Uh maybe they get a bit tougher. They didn't even track me a bit, so yeah, I got beat because I was careless. So hey. What was that Team Galactic guy all freaking out about? I don't know what he's up to, but you should chase him down. If you're not a Pokemon and you run like that, you're a bad guy. Alright, Rico, next time, I'm not holding back. Doesn't he say that every time? 